We will return to Kaduna when we're able to. Now, the federal government is putting measures in place to address cases of rejection of Nigerian agricultural produce at international commodity markets. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Mohamed Sabu Nanunu, says Nigeria is losing more than $2 million annually over rejection of Nigerian beans and other produce in Europe. Musa Baba Ali reports. Since 2015, Nigeria has been having difficulties to penetrate European commodity markets as her produce has been rejected. The rejection is due to quality, packaging, as well as the application of harmful chemicals in preserving produce after harvest. Recently, the United States and some Caribbean countries also banned Nigerian dry fish and hibiscus from their markets due to issues relating to quality and packaging. Also, the administrative part of it, the custom is involved. For port authorities, both currencies, I present so many agencies that are involved in the control of this. Thing. Why are we having this problem? And we cannot continue and give excuses for this kind of thing that is happening. Put an end to this, the federal government constituted a zero rejection committee that will look at the conditions Nigeria needs to meet before she will be accepted to trade in Europe and other countries. The important committee is saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that produce of Nigerian origin are held to international standards. This will facilitate regional and international trades. We need to increase sensitization you know, of uh, the application of agro-pesticides. This is going to be multidisciplinary. European Union and UNDP are out to support Nigerian farmers with basic techniques and technology in the production and preservation of produce. In Abuja, Musa Baba Aliyu, NTA News.